So I picked up this airlift airbag kit. Comes, or I ordered the onboard compressor. Little gauge here. Uh, just going through all the hardware brackets. I have no idea how this goes. <laughs> Time to read some instructions, friends. <laughs> I want to try and get this installed and I want to put my proper hitch on. We've been rocking this unit right here and uh, we got a little shim sham on the bumper while we're towing. She, uh, she twists with that heavy trailer on it so we got to put a proper hitch on here. So we got a homemade one. It's super heavy duty. We'll put that in here. Uh, I might actually mount this to the front of the truck at some point so I can put a receiver and a winch on it. But for now, we're just going to rip it off if <laughs> we can get those bolts off. Not if, if it's easy. Now, apparently, I'm supposed to measure from the center of this here bow tie to the fender flare. 22 and a half inches is my normal ride height. You guys are going to remember that? 22 and a half inches. I'm going to follow the instructions to a T and uh, hopefully this install goes pretty easily. I don't know, it says a couple hours on the instructions. I'm going to jack this thing up. I'm excited. This, I want this truck to be the ultimate wood hauler slash water hauler slash whatever I need for around the farm here. And one thing we need is the ability, well, to overload the living snot out of it, right, friends? That's what a pick-em-up truck's for. Uh, a pickup truck that you can't stack lumber in, you know, as much as you can fit in there, isn't worth much to this feller. Now, I'm not going to do it all the time, but when I need extra weight carrying capability, I'm going to jack this thing up with the airbags. And the nice thing with that is I don't need the added cost and issues with running a one ton. You Manitobans know what I'm talking about, eh? That's the stuff. It's nice when the wheels come off. Okay, friends. Uh, it's about an hour later. I uh, I messed up installing this bag. Um, the instructions for this here machine are not what I would call self-explanatory. But whatever. We got her on. Uh, I forgot to put this top piece on here. It's no big deal. Here, I'll show you guys here. Put the clamp on there, mount the lower bracket with the two bolts, um, put the clamp on, center it, and then you already have this top plate on here. You drill a hole here, here, and here. Uh, you drill and mount this bolt first. And then, on the inside, it's pretty cool, there's this big plate here. Let's see if we, you beat that into the frame, and, uh, that makes it so it can take the extra weight, in theory. <laughs> and then there's the fitting on top here. See? You gotta put this fitting in after, too. But anyways, that's the long and the short. I'm gonna do the other side. So, you take off the factory jounce bumper, it's called. I just called it a stopper. Okay, you unbolt the jounce bumper, and then the plate sits on where your overload, where that rubber piece. That's the idea. I'm going to do the other side now. Airbags. Got a little bit of wiring to clean up underneath there. I'm going to leave the light off, friends, because uh, that's really annoying. Compressor.
me happy. Hey friends, how are you guys doing? Got another package here. Again, I can't say it enough. I appreciate all you guys helping out this channel. Being a rural fella in an area that uh, there's not a lot of logging, this stuff really helps. Um, it, it blows my mind the kindness of you folks out there. Um, it, it really helps. Again, I'm holding a knife that one of you guys made, Jordan Mark. Um, I really, really appreciate it. I don't know what's in this box, so we're going to open her up here live and, and see what we got. Grab this. I like this knife. It feels good in the hand. Okay. This knife down. I'm going to bring you guys up close so you can actually see. Maybe if we put you up a little bit higher. There you go. I'm getting this whole YouTuber-y thing figured out. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> Dude. Oh man. Wow. Oh my. Dude. Dude. Seriously? Oh my. Wow. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> wow. You guys hear that? Listen. <laughs> Does that? You guys know what this is. Any of you that have been on this channel for any length of time, I have, I have a love for these Husqvarna 44s. Um, I have always wanted one. The guys that I cut with run these saws. Now, on paper, on paper, you might say, "Well, what's the deal with that?" Well, I don't know what it is about these 44s. I believe they made a 444. This is actually uh, like a homeowner saw. And uh, these things run so good, in my opinion. Uh, we've cut oak. I remember my buddy, he was blocking up like 18 to joke with one of these one day. These things just absolutely grunt, grunt through logs. And uh, this thing's just like, look at the condition. I've never been able to find one. You you really can't get parts for these anymore. Um, the aftermarket just has never picked these up. Um, pistons and cylinders are pretty much unobtainium. I'm not even sure if you could put something else on here. But um, Now the question is, does it run? I guess we better figure out that. I'll put a little splash of fuel in there and we'll see. Give me a second. Is this thing nice? I've always like seriously. This is a saw. You guys might laugh. This saw. This has been on my list for years. I've just I've found them for sale. They these are available locally, but they're either absolutely haggard, blown up, or or just ridiculously expensive. And uh, so I just never got one. Here, I'm going to back you guys up here a little bit. Let's see. I'm sure this thing's going to run. It's got... Carb tuning. <laughs> Ryan, 
buddy. Like, seriously. <coughs> Making me cough. I'm so excited. Wow. Buddy, thank you. That's all I can say. I've wanted one of these for a long time. I don't even know if I have a bar for this saw. I'm going to have to dig through my bar collection. I have a box full of like 18 and 20 inch bars. Uh, I don't even know what this thing's set up for. Let's have a look, see. Wow, this thing's nice. I'm like speechless. And you know what I do have for these? Uh, I have a bunch. I have plastics and chain brakes. Uh, I bought out the remnants from an old dealer that was here. And uh, it was full of... It was full of... Husqvarna parts. Oh, this has a replaceable sprocket on it. So... We can go 3 8 if we need to. I, I don't know if this thing will pull 3 8 Now I'm on the fence, friends. I've always wanted to not only own one of these, but I've wanted to port one. I think in the future, I would like to tune this up a little bit. These actually build a lot of torque. It'd be interesting to see what the timing numbers are, at least on one of these. And, uh, and go from there. This thing's a beauty. This fella just, this fella's having a great day. This YouTube thing. Uh, you guys just, you guys treat me so well. And uh, I, I thank all of you that hang out here. It's awesome. I actually have one more box, friends. And uh, we're going to open that up. Wow, this thing's nice. Like, this thing doesn't even need... I remember Ryan emailing me about this, and uh, I did not expect it to be this. Like, this thing's ridiculously nice. And I might have the dogs. I have a I have a bunch of parts for these, so we'll have to have a look-see. I definitely have chain brakes, top covers, new, new style like this, and the old white style. I don't know if they're interchangeable. Um, not that I'll put... I won't put the old style on here, but... Wow, and like, like I said, friends, you find me, you find me a 44cc saw that thumps like that. Like these things, you guys know I'm a Husqvarna man. I have stills, I have pioneers, partners now, thanks to Mr. John Bradley, uh, Home Lights. I, I have pretty much every brand there is. I've had Oleo Max. I like Huskies because. They built some dynamite saws over the years. Not to say that anybody else didn't, but you find a 44cc saw that has compression like that. That's incredible. Okay, friends, I'm going to find a spot for this on the shelf, and uh, let's grab the next box. Ryan, thank you, buddy. Like, seriously, I am going to love and cherish this saw. This is exactly like the one I ran in that video my buddy saw. He lent it to me. And uh, he's been trying to piece me together parts for one. He has a bunch that are blown up. But again, you can't get pistons for these anymore. So, um, unfortunately, these things are so light, nimble. And like I said, they'll pull an 18-inch bar like nobody's business. That's been my experience with these. They definitely cut way above their weight class. And... Uh, the first time I run one of these, I was absolutely blown away at how strong it is for a little power saw. Wow. Anyhow. Let's put her next to the pristine 94. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm just like, I know it's funny. I, I'm a saw porter and I run all these big nasty saws, but it's like, you guys are way too good to me. This, like, this thing is almost new. It's almost too new to run. I will run it, but I'll be nice to it. Um, the This has been on my list for a long time. I know it's 44 cc's, but I just absolutely love these saws. And, uh, I mean, one of you sent this to me. Uh, I just, again, thank you, friends. I appreciate it. I'm honored that you guys, you know, want to see saws on my channel. And, uh, 
I don't know what else I can say. Thank you guys. Thank you, Mr. Ryan.